Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're back on gold. We're looking to see if gold is going to continue to make its move to the downside or whether we're going to see price continue. As you can see, I'm on the four hour chart of gold at the moment and uh, I'm basically eyeing up this little bit of a resistance area here around about the 1840 area or the 1845 and I'm looking to see if price is going to reject and move lower so if you actually take a look at what's kind of happened this week we've been talking about the $1800 for some time now and uh, we came a little bit shy of that area in fact we came into around about the 1805 handle and price decided to push to the upside that's down to a little bit of dollar weakness in the market dollar weakening has pushed price back to the upside here but we would expect the price to flow like this in a downward trend we wouldn't expect price just to go straight to our level of interest so i don't think we've got anything to worry about here in terms of gold downside because if we still kind of think of the fundamental picture um <clears throat> the interest rates in the us are going to continue to go up um whether that's either by the fed hiking more aggressively or um hiking for longer we don't know yet um but on, on that stance, we should see gold prices continue to weaken. Now, if we look at it from this daily perspective, you can see that we've kind of had a pullback, move down, pullback, move down, pullback, and we're back into this daily level of resistance now. So I would be looking for continuations to the downside into the $1,800 level. Now, I looked at the four hour, and we can argue the fact that price is forming a double top. You know, if we look at the opens and closes there, Price has come back with rejected, forming a bit of a lower high here at the moment as well. So if price was to trade for that four hour low or even the lower the neckline, it would offer uh, sort of sellers the opportunity to try and jump on the back of a potential downward move towards the 1805 handle or even that $1,800 level. Because if I go back up to the weekly time frame, that's where we're expecting price to come and retest. Okay, now weekly kind of looks a little bit bullish in terms of we've broken through these highs here and we've come back into that level if we were to see a bullish weekly move then i do think we'd only see price come towards the 1875 before continuing to trade lower i don't think we'll see the big move up towards the 1920 or even uh, the 2000 dollar area i don't really see that happening but you know obviously the market's going to do whatever the market wants to do. So if it was to rally, we just got to be a little bit careful that something like that could happen. I think gold prices are still more likely to trade to the downside because of the bigger picture and the fundamental picture. So I'll still look for $1,800 to be tested. If price then trades through $1,800, then that opens the door for other questions. Can we get down to the $1,700 level or even down to the lows here at $1,625? Now, um, we may have to also consider the sort of situation between Russia and Ukraine at the moment. Um, obviously, the war is still ongoing. However, um, there is sort of news around the fact that it's the mud season um, in Russia and Ukraine. So uh, typically, warfare slows down due to the fact that the tanks can't travel through the sort of uh, terrain as well and uh, that seems to clear up around about may so we could still see some continuation to the downside until that point and then if things start to get worse in may gold prices may shoot up because of that so definitely something to consider when we're trading gold because we have to look at global factors as well not just the situation in the US but at the moment gold prices are driven by US fundamentals and uh, I still feel like gold can continue lower so hopefully that all made sense if it did leave this video a thumbs up subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more forex trading content and I'll speak to you in the next video